tell us about your biggest failure? One of my greatest failures I've ever had in my entire life is when I was younger, a junior in high school, I was co-MVP of the league, co-MVP of my team, and we were the best team in the area. I remember just getting a big head. Um, I was arguing with my high school coach. I just wasn't that coachable. You know, occasionally I would get kicked out of practice or he would make me sit out of drills. It's really a stretch of time where I was constantly idolizing my career. Uh, just with my attitude, I just felt like nobody could really tell me anything. The night before our championship game, I went to the YMCA to shoot around. Both sides of the court were filled because they had some pickup basketball. So the guys were like, hey, you can't shoot around. If you want to shoot around, you can jump in the game with us. So I was like, all right. And you know, I was playing and I went up for a layup and a guy just comes out of nowhere and kind of tackles me and I ended up breaking my ankle. And so I ended up missing the championship. I missed the rest of the playoffs after because that was section championships and then there was the state championships. So I missed all of that and I had to watch my team play. You know, I told myself like from that point on, I'll never take the game for granted. I will never not work hard and that I would never be the arrogant player that nobody could approach or coach. So that was a big turning point in my life because it really made me go from, hey, I think I made it or I'm just gonna coast to really finding new levels and new depths of mental toughness and of drive. I really started to take that principle and apply it to everything, whether it's schoolwork or basketball or anything. Um, now, I just have a much better balance of perspective in life and that's why today I, I enjoy, I really enjoy my life, I really enjoy my career.